Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We're here in Washington, D.C. in the offices of Dick Todd Shapiro Law Firm. To my right, immediate right, is Senator, U.S. Senator Joseph Tidings, uh, formerly uh, U.S. Senator from Maryland, Democrat, and to my left is Ms. Christina Gray from Franklin, Tennessee. We're only here on the occasion <clears throat> with the Senator and Ms. Gray, and in front of me is a Coblock Lifetime Achievement Award. This is a natural Tennessee walking horse. This award is being presented today to U.S. Senator Joseph Tidings for all of his lifetime work of accomplishment and achievement on behalf of this breed of horse. This is a Tennessee walking horse. He's not built up. He's natural. That's the way the horse started off. That's what he needs to go back to. That's the future of this breed. We're the Citizens Campaign Against Big Lick Animal Cruelty. We're against the uh, mistreatment of these horses. It's a We the People advocacy group. We've gone from the Gulf of Mexico at Panama City Beach to the Blue Ridge Mountains of Asheville, North Carolina, in front of the White House on March 29th with 100,000 signatures supporting the regulation to remove the pads and chains from the Tennessee walking horse. We've had more than 45 protests in front of horse shows. We've gone into horse shows. We've taken videos. We've put them on the Internet. They've been seen by millions of people. The Dodo video released on March uh, 7, 2017 has been seen almost 14 million times. It features a horse that Mrs. Gray took care of named Jen's Ice Glimmer. It shows the big lick animal cruelty. I had a very large book in front of me yeah. which was representative of the 100,000 signatures requesting removal of the pads and chains. Right. And behind us was a banner showing Jen's Ice Glimmer feet as they were photographed in my yard. Correct, and I practiced law for decades with no, with no card, but when I got into this, I got a card, Senator, and the banner is on part of the card. Chris may zoom in and get the picture of Glimmer's feet, but we're here today to present the award to the Senator, and Senator, I'm going to move this award over and ask you to comment in any way, shape, form, or fashion that you'd like about this subject of the cruelty, your role in it, and uh, we're just looking to hear for, from you, sir. First of all, <clears throat> I'd like to thank this lovely young woman for the courage that she showed in getting out in front in this very, very di difficult arena. And you too, Claire, you too. Thank you. Uh, and I speak to all of the associates of my grandchildren, my children. These beautiful horses and our civilization, mankind civilization as we know it, has been based on beautiful young small horses from the time civilization first started. The despicable practice of some groups of owners and lazy, miserable trainers who would go and cripple these beautiful horses, their feet, because they're too lazy to train the horse properly, and they put nails, acid, all sorts of things in these horses' feet so the horse can't even put his foot feet down. Then they get the horse out in the show ring and they force him to trot and rack on when he can't even put the foot down in order to get this exaggerated bait gait, which is used in show rings. This is a, a, a travesty of human nature and despicable cruelty. Very difficult to fight against this because some very powerful senators, Mitch McConnell, who is the Republican leader of the Senate, all tied up, money and what have you, from horse owners, horse trainers, and unfortunately the um, Senator from Tennessee and Senator were the same way. The only hope we have of protecting these wonderful horses is citizens like you, Clant, with the beautiful young lady here with me, to get involved. We got the